Hey there, it's Kelsey. Um, I just wanted to let you know that um, I've been having some problems with this person on Skype. She goes by the name of Para Para Revolution 90 on DeviantArt. She used to be known as Super Mystical Fairy. And apparently, I thought I was talking, I knew something was up with her, you know, when she wasn't talking normally and she was drawing all this fetish art. And she would freak out whenever I would mention a fox or a wolf or a rooster or eagles and ambulances. She freaks out about that kind of stuff. Also, she even says, hey, I'm watching um, dogs barking on my 3DS. Look, I'm not saying this person is a bad person. Although she is, you know, she has this weird, bizarre scat fetish, you know and urine fetish, I found this out, like, today, after, like, I can't believe she does, I'm like, if she has that fetish, then some, clearly something is definitely up with this person, so I'm not going to talk to this person anymore, because it just, it just doesn't feel right, it's just, I don't know, it, you know, I am being as mature as I can about this, she obviously is probably unemployed, and she has been stalking me on Skype, and she would basically call me at odd hours when I'm trying to get to sleep. No, we did not, like, chat face-to-face, -face, obviously. And I talked with my cousin Mark, and she and he suggests, what if this person's a man? Because a lot of people are, who are fetish enthusiasts like that are men. But I don't know about that. There's many people who are girls who have fetishes, too. Like, there's no denying that. You just never know. Like... And I only chatted on voice chat, thank God, and I blocked her on DeviantArt and, um, whatchamacallit, Skype, but there is a chance she might come back. Well, no problem, I'll keep on blocking her, you know, on whatever site I use. As a matter of fact, you know, I'll keep on blocking her because there's really no reason to talk to her because she's obviously messed up in the head. And I'm not saying this to insult her or anything. It's just she's probably got some mental issues. And you know what? Seeing everybody else's history on Kiwi Farms, you know, with her, I kind of found out a lot more about her and why she is this way and stuff. And I think these people, they might be lying, but for me, it just seems like they're being straightforward, honest. And they're not doing to bash or hurt her. They're just trying to say that this person has a legit problem. And they should not be stalking or harassing and, you know, demanding somebody to draw inflation fetish or whatever kind of fetish art. And she was actually requesting me to draw, like, pregnant, a dog body smithers and stuff. And, ugh, she's just so demanding. Obviously... I'm not sure. She she probably most likely doesn't have a job, and, you know, that's not my concern. I am about to get my first job, or my uh, first good solid job, here next week. If the irony is that, like, when they told her she was unemployed, and that I'm talking about this now, but... The thing is with us, I mean, she... Again, she could come under a, a different account, like... I don't know what she's gonna... One thing, another thing I found out, she likes to pretend she's from Japan, despite not knowing anything about their culture. Look, the Japanese have had, over hundreds of years, a very complex culture. And, you know, being very shallow about it, it's just like the, one of the most insulting things you can be to Japanese culture. Does she even know about Children's Day in Japan, which is the 5th of May? Kodomo no Hi, also Cinco de Mayo. Basically, yeah, the thing is, it's a, it's technically Children's Day in Japan, but the thing is, you have to be very respectful. There are some mannerisms that are okay in Japan that are not in the United States and vice versa, and I think that's what people have to keep in mind when they actually go over there. That it's not just all about anime, and it's much more complicated than that. Hell, I don't even know most of Japan myself. I have not even been over there, like... You have to even go to a certain area, like if you go to Hokkaido, that's going to be much different than Tokyo. Even in culture, it's like each area of Japan has its own, like, 
distinct values, but I feel like I'm getting off a little bit track. The thing, is, the point I wanted to make is that, you know, I have met, you know, a couple of stalkers who are either borderline interested in me, I dealt with them by blocking them, so the next time a stalker or somebody suspicious comes up and I find out about them, I haven't, like, you know, became friends with, a, you know, Crystal Franks or Maybook the Ultimate or, you know, Para Para Revolution 90, Chibiyama, all those different names I've seen her. And she thinks Kiwi Farms is like the bottom of the barrel. The people in Kiwi Farms I found out are trying to report, you know, just, and she even has an account like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? She just acts like just such a child for a grown adult, like a man child or a woman child. But I don't even know her actual gender. I just call her she because I feel like that's what gender she goes by. Like, yeah, I, I really don't have anything else to say. So, I think I'm done talking with here. I will post this video to DeviantArt and just talk about, like, you know, more stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.